you're creating a new wedding page. You go to pages, add new. Call it something like Dave and Jill's wedding. Use the Divi Builder. Load layout. Now I've saved this layout for you, which is Is it that one there? Actually, it's all the same. So you click into here, load your layout, and then at that stage, you save it. Not publish, save. Well, you can publish it. It doesn't go on your website. It doesn't go on any, it's not added to a menu anywhere. And then when you're in here, so this is your page here now. Mm -hmm. and you can edit the text yourself in here. All the right bullet points, etc. And change the image in here, however you like. Yeah. Now, separately, what you need to do is create a... You may already have a product that goes with it, but you may not. So you may be that your, your generic Bell Tent Be Comfy product is, is good enough for it. But probably if you want on your e-commerce to be able to track which event it's for, you want to um, probably create a new unique product for each event. So you go into products here. Mm -hmm. Products. Add new. You go to add new. Or if you want to duplicate one that's already existing, but you're that. saying what well, all the details on, let's say for example, you're going to offer the same as um, Lux and Black Deer, mm -hmm. but it's just for a new event. You could go to here, look, duplicate. You could have just done add new if you wanted to, but you know some of them have got all these details like variations where they've got like, so that can't. I won't Excellent. have add-ons with, with, basically, it's only with a festival there'll be add-ons. Okay, in which Everything case... Everything um, else is literally simple. Yeah. Okay, in which case you might not need to duplicate it, but in case you do want to duplicate a product, you say, oh yeah, we set this on these tick boxes, etc. I want it exactly the same as that, and then you go duplicate, and then rename this to like, Dave and Jill's, and Jill's Lux. Where did you duplicate it? So that's what you would do there. I'll show you again. If, if you want to duplicate that, you literally go into products. Products. And then as you hover over it, you see a duplicate sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you may not want to duplicate it. You may just want a new, uh, brand new product. Yeah. In which case, you just go to add new, and then call this one, call this one Dave and Jill's um, Be Comfy. Now, the reason we're creating a new product for each event is that in your back end of your PayPal and everything, you're thinking, well, what's this event for? Someone's ordered a bell tent. Is it for Black Tier? Is it yes, for Yes, so, my so it's better to do a, black, a new product for each event. Yeah, so a new product for each event, yeah. even if it's identical to one you've got already somewhere else. Um, so then you go in here and you can just type all the details in yeah. here. Okay. Type the price, um, add a featured image down here, Yeah. and then save it. And then at that stage, I can then link it all up for you. But at least then you've added the price, you've added the right image. Yeah. You've put the text or the blurb in there. Okay. Uh, means less time for me and you know means you've done a bit more yourself. Or if you need me to do it for you, but um it's very easy, yeah, as you can see. Um, whenever you do save, I mean just so you know, whenever you do save a product and press publish, you get this link. That's what I will be copying and pasting into the other page under the button. Okay, so the I button think link. I but want I can do that for you yeah. if you want, but just so you know that's how it's done yeah. in case in case you want to know. Just, just, and then call that book for you. 